tasks. Director for the corporation. This process was led by the board of directors, partnering with the Lloyds Kenya, after which the board interviewed the shortlisted candidates and then advised the cabinet secretary, cabinet secretary, agriculture uh, ministry. The process saw very many qualified Kenyans applying. The interviews and reviews were rigorous. Since as a board, we were convinced that the corporation needed the most apt, well-seasoned, and someone who understood the business well. In the interim uh, period, the board had designated Rose Ojanda, and she can stand up there, Rose Ojanda, who is our corporation secretary, to act as the managing director from October 20th. She is done five months. To you, Rose, thank you very much. You did us proud. You coordinated your colleagues very well, and the business of the corporation continued without a hitch. I can say that was impressive stewardship. And before I continue with my remarks, I want my colleagues, the members of the board, to be upstanding one by one where they are. Uh, this is an important day in Agricultural Finance Corporation as we are installing our Managing Director, Mr. George Kubain. The date, 1st April 2021, is going to be symbolic in the history of Agricultural Finance Corporation. If I may go back although the chairman has already alluded to it, on 16th October 2020, the board appointed me as the acting managing director of Agricultural Finance Corporation. As the process of onboarding, our new team leader was underway. The assignment came at a time when the business environment was threatened by the COVID-19 pandemic. I must say that uh, over the last five months, we have managed to adapt the operations of the corporation to the new normal and continue to ensure adequate and unhindered accessibility to our services. As it were, the corporation has remained stable and has gained visibly commendable traction in its performance. I'm very delighted, Mr. Chairman, that the government and the board have concluded the process of recruitment. And now Mr. George Kubai has been competitively identified and appointed as a substantive holder of the Office of the Managing Director. As the AFC family, and by this I mean the management and the staff of the corporation, we have warmly welcomed Mr. Kubai and we look forward to supporting his leadership and tapping into his vast experience spanning the private and the public sectors as we consolidate and build the gains we have attained this far. Mr. MD, as we have noted through interactions with your management team, You are taking up the captaincy of a well endowed knowledgeable and focused team. The team has assured you of its unwavering loyalty, support and cooperation, and it is eager to work with you in the realization of the vision that you have already communicated to the team, and ultimately in the realization of the vision of the cooperation. 
you are coming at a time when AFC is enjoying enhanced confidence from its key stakeholders, including the government and development partners. The corporation needs new leadership that can leverage this confidence to grow it and improve its impact on the Kenyan agricultural community. Let me conclude by appreciating the government, the board, and the stakeholders of the corporation for the support we have enjoyed over the period of transition and trust that the same support, if not greater support, will be extended to our new team leader, Mr. George Kubai. Once again, welcome to Agricultural Finance Corporation, Mr. Kubai, and may the Lord's presence be with you as you assume your new role. Chairman, I'll step down now and humbly hand over the podium to you. Thank you very much. Ilikuwa makofi kali kweli? Ilikuwa kali, eh? Asante. Thank you very much. Now you can have uh, the document. And now, Mr. George Kubai, I want to request you to come over and on behalf of the Board of Directors and the entire AFC team. It's my utmost pleasure to welcome Mr. George Kubai to AFC as the new Managing Director. Earlier on, the board met, the full board met, uh, physically and virtually, and we were all unanimous that this is indeed the animal we were looking for. <laughs> you know you start looking for an antelope, and you end up finding a, 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 a naina. <laughs> but uh, we, found, we found him. So you are most welcome to AFC. Mr. Kobai brings with him immense experience drawn from many years of working in the private sector as a banker, also offering leadership in the public sector. He has right, the right mix of skills, a good understanding of the business, and a good understanding of the public sector. He obtained the confidence of the board the cabinet secretaries, and I here mean cabinet secretaries, cabinet secretary agriculture, and cabinet secretary national treasury. And we are confident he is the best placed leader that AFC could have now. I have shared with him over the last few days since his appointment. I have listened to his vision and, I, and intended approach, and I am motivated and encouraged uh, on his look of things. Prior to joining the corporation, George worked at National Oil Corporation, NOC, where he was the general manager downstream operations. Mr. Kubai has held senior managerial positions in commercial banks, insurance companies, and multinational corporations, having worked with Equity Bank, uh, Sunlam Insurance, and the Coca-Cola Company. He holds a bachelor's degree from the Maseno University, our own university, and a Master of Business Administration from Choma Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. The MD is joining AFC at a very critical and indeed a pivotal time. My board has over the years worked with management on a turnaround plan for the institution. They, we have laid a, foundations, a foundation towards a more impactful AFC, an AFC that is felt across every corner of this republic. I want us to retrace our steps back when your parents could always say, I am going to AFC to get uh, my inputs for agriculture, and they would be given a small cheat, which they would take to KFA, and they would be given those supplies for our farms. We want to go there. 
so that our farmers across the country, be it in the rich areas in terms of rain or the areas with scanty rain, we want them to be feeling the presence of AFC. That is the new strategy, that is the new plan that we have put, and that is on our strategic plan, and it can be availed to you if you want. We have a new strategy and a staff body that is ready to support him and to ensure his success. AFC is on a transformational journey, like I have said. That has been the board, that is, that is the board adopt an ambitious yet attainable strategic plan. Uh, which I have no doubt this managing director has taken time to appreciate. The first thing I gave him when he came in was a copy of that strategic plan for him to start appreciating where we are as an institution. MD, this vision is now in your capable arms. This strategic plan is in your hands. I wish to assure you that myself and my board behind you will offer you all the support you require as you steer the team in mobilizing and deploying investments to agricultural value chain acts, actors across the country. I call upon the management team, and it is not a small number because of COVID issues, uh, I only have that team behind you there, uh, uh, to accord the managing director and wavering support and to further rededicate yourselves to your duties and responsibilities to the people of Kenya. Finally, to all our stakeholders and development partners, I take this opportunity to reiterate the board's confidence in the incoming managing director's capabilities and track record in continuing the work, the good work we have done together, and assure you of, of all of my board's commitment to further deepening our partnership under Mr. Kubai's able leadership. Now, let me then invite these two to sign the handover documents and symbolically exchange them before I invite Mr. Kubai to make his remarks. Press and our stakeholders. I'm excited to join the AFC family as we seek to continue the important work of serving Kenya's most critical sector of the economy. I also want to appreciate uh, the members of the press. Thank you for being here today. AFC considers you an invaluable partner and we will continue to rely, uh, to rely on this partnership and support in servicing our clients. I also want to take this opportunity to appreciate the President and the Cabinet Secretaries. I want to first start by appreciating His Excellency the President, Honorable Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta and the Cabinet Secretaries, Honorable Peter G. Munya, uh, the Cabinet Secretary for Minister of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries and also the Board of Agriculture Finance Corporation for your confidence and entrusting me with the role to serve as the Managing Director of AFC. I understand how critical this assignment is as AFC remains uh, of great uh, strategic uh, significance to the government and, and to the economy. The corporation's mandate positions it as a unique vehicle through which the realization of food and national security as envisioned under the Big Four agenda can be realized. In addition, the sector remains vastly capable of availing opportunity for new jobs and wealth creation for our people. I come in at a time when the corporation has adopted a new strategy aimed at making it impactful, relevant, and responsive. The greater part of my assignment will therefore be to guide the channeling of all efforts into translating that ambitious strategy into measurable success. We will do this in a manner that consolidates the gains already achieved, while at the same time instituting meaningful change and improvements in the corporation's approach to business. 
The key focus areas will include growing our portfolio through aggressive mobilization of additional resources, injecting efficiency into our operations to ensure that they are lean, targeted, and impactful, while emphasizing on a market land approach that seeks to commercialize agriculture. We realize that for AFC to be impactful, it must serve Kenya's agricultural community in a manner that meets their unique needs. We will therefore start a journey of partnering with our clients to realign our products to meet their evolving preferences. Mr. Chairman, I have received a warm reception and good guidance from you, the Bond and the AFC family. My experience for the last few days has inspired me to believe in the ability of this institution to be the core around which the entire story of Kenya's agriculture can be told. I have met staff who are knowledgeable and motivated in their approach to service and work. I thank you, Mr. Chairman, and also Mrs. Rose Ochanda for having built and held this incredible team together. I equally affirm that I'll be more, I will move to strengthen that team even further as we work towards our shared vision. Mr. Chairman, I realize that I will have more opportunities to speak as we roll out the transformations that we envisage. So kindly allow me to conclude by taking this opportunity to appeal to partners and all the key stakeholders to be ready for an AFC that is ready to re-engage as a dependable ally in the development of the agricultural sector. Thank you very much. The board shall advertise, shall screen, shall interview, and shall at the end of those interviews submit to the minister three names. In those three names, the minister in his own wisdom will pick one. The minister has picked one out of the three names. When we were giving him the three names, we were clear in our minds that any of these three is capable of managing AFC. We had no doubt whatsoever. We had no doubt whatsoever. Any of these three was capable of managing the affairs of AFC. It is because they met the requirements from the word go. They met the requirements from the word go, and they answered these board members' questions diligently. And I can assure you, these board members are not complaining. We are very happy and we want to work, we want to move forward. We are a family that loves work. Yes, ma'am? I want to ask the reason for them. For okay. Them. Hopefully, to an agricultural bank, a bank that is meant for the, for the farmers. So we are also looking at the youth who don't have a, a, what you would call a collaterals. We are looking at women who don't have collaterals. Uh, and who else are we looking at? And even the people who are physically challenged. So it is all in there, in that uh, new document. So what is the progress The progress towards that? Yes. The, we have... Uh, Yeah, what we have done already is that, first of all, we did do benchmarking. So we went to institutions in the Far East, notably Thailand, China, Malaysia. We went to the Netherlands and India to get from them their AFCs. So when we came back, we then finalized our strategic plan. And the strategic plan is simply intended to be able to actualize that wish by AFC to be an agricultural bank. So we intend next month to launch the strategic plan. And the strategic plan will take us into improving the SMEs, even the medium-sized institutions, and but largely in the world of agriculture. Oh, that is now going to back to what he was asking about uh, restructuring. We are a, talk, a talking financial institution. We are listening to the farmers. If because of COVID, weather conditions, 
we listen to you and we normally try to restructure the repayment schedule of your loan so that you are not burdened because of issues that were beyond your control. So that applies to COVID issues, that applies to weather issues. And we have done to as many farmers, particularly in those areas where seasonal credit is normally required. Because some farmers were hit by droughts and uh, we had to handle uh, them that way. And how, uh, how has been the loan update during this COVID period? So, so. How much have been dispersed? So we have dispersed. We have dispersed. Again, that is, again, an internal issue. In short, it's Women Affirmative Access Window, and it's a program that uh, was deliberately initiated to ensure that uh, women were included into the, uh, into the lending of AFC. Uh, so far, we have um, disbursed 1 billion shillings under this program, and uh, we are working closely with UN Women to ensure that uh, women are well trained and uh, they are able to take up agricultural activity, activities efficiently, and not only efficiently, commercially, yeah, so that uh, they benefit the community at large and um, their families. The one billion has been uh, disbursed in what period? Uh, it, uh, it, that, that has been disbursed since the beginning of the financial year. And the uh, financial year runs from uh, 1st of July to the 30th of June. We target all women. We target all women, and uh, generally, even at if it's a group, it has to be a co cohesive group, <laughs> and it has to be women who engage in agriculture, not just any women. Women. There are women in agribusiness. There are women uh, who do pr primary um, uh, manufacturing. They are engaged in the value chain of the agri of agriculture. Yeah. How, how much are you targeting in disbursement for the same program? Uh, we are targeting 3 billion shillings under this program, yes. So, this, how much are you set aside for this program? Is it 3 billion? 3 billion. 3 billion shillings. Thank you. Okay. My one question is just the MD. MD. Congratulations, sir, for this. I think, uh, for me, I'm looking at uh, revamping AFC to become more responsive to the needs of farmers. Um, by this, what I mean is that uh, we want to come up with uh, an institution that is agile and more responsive to the needs of the farmers. This we will be able to achieve through uh, product differentiation, where we want to be able to reach out to each and every farmer wherever they are across the country. In this case, we'll be looking at uh, um, remodeling our product offering such that we are able to address the needs of the farmers irrespective of their location. So if they're in arid areas, we'll be able to support you to do cattle, uh, maybe steers fattening or cattle rearing for that matter. If in the highlands, we'll be able to support you to do the crops that are applicable in that particular region. So we want to be more relevant to all the farmers across the country through product offering that is able to address their specific, unique uh, product needs. Yeah. Okay, now, um, don't go away yet. I saw your, your commitment to know about the strategic plan. So I have sent for copies to be brought, yes. and then I want one engineer, one of the engineers of that exercise, to come and give you a snapshot at the strategic plan. Mr. This Kubai is not the Kubai you were seeing on video. <laughs> with a swimming pool and all that it's stuff. Awesome. There are two different people <laughs> all together. No, no. This one is George Kubai. That one was Peter Kubai. Oh. <laughs> Those are two different human beings. He may be having a swimming pool, but not that one you saw. <laughs> Thank you, Chairman. That was critical. Yeah, that yeah. Was Yes, three years. Yeah. Three years. Three years. Three years. Three years. Three years. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. Plan. What we intend to do is catalyze about 110 billion shillings into the sector. Now, this we intend to do over a period of about three years. Uh, within this year and next year, uh, we intend to do about 30 billion. Uh, there are certain things that we believe are not happening in the sector, uh, specifically issues around financial inclusion. We think it's very big. Uh, we, are, we have a very big population in the Upper Eastern that is excluded financially, a very big population that is youth and women that we think also need the services of financial institutions, and these are the people we are catering for. There is an extremely big uh, desire to mechanize the country, and this the chairman had mentioned, in the countries that we had visited, their level of mechanization is over 30 percent. We are still grappling with just below 20 percent. And we think there is a real need within the country to actually target that. Uh, the strategy that we have has elicited a lot of responses. Uh, we are currently working with IFAD, uh, particularly around guaranteeing farmers who are excluded by way of collateral through uh, guarantee funds and these are conversations that we think will push the envelope forward. Uh, there is also a very big what you would call faith-based community uh, that is still grappling with issues of finances and accessing finance and these are the very tough conversations that we are currently engaging. We know it will not be easy, we know it will not happen immediately but we think there needs to be an institution that champions this. And we have picked AFC to champion this. Uh, this 110 billion shillings that we are mobilizing will not necessarily come into AFC. But if it comes into the sector and we spur development, we think then AFC would have played the role of a DFI the way it's supposed to play. Chairman, thank you very much. OK. I think we are done. Uh... Are we getting it? Are we getting those copies?